Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So Microsoft Visual Studio Code, the VSC, can now run in the web browser. You can open simple this site, vscode.dev, and then enter. The entire editor will be open in your browser, and then you can import any project. For example, let's say I'm going to open a folder, and then I'll go to my documents. Under my document, let's say Cypress API practice, I want to open any JavaScript project or any kind of uh, project that I can open it. You can see under the Cypress, I have fixtures, integrations, my APA test are written, get APA.js, plugin, support, everything is written over here. You can open your JSON files and everything. Right, so that's so cool. You can edit it also. All the suggestions and everything is coming like that. You can see that if expect is equal to, again, I'm writing a true over here. You can save the changes. For example, like two C suggestions are coming by default like this. And then I'm making it once again a true over here. That, that also you can do that. You can save it. By default, it will be saved in your uh, browser. There are some limitations. If you go to the terminal, you cannot execute any commands over here because terminals are not available in the web editor. To use terminal, it's saying you have to continue an environment that can run code like a code space or you have to download Visual Studio Code locally. I don't see a great advantage over here, but if you really want to quickly open a browser and uh, I mean Visual Studio Code in the browser that quickly you can edit your files and quickly you can just check that. But uh, still you need a Visual Studio Code, otherwise how will you run your test cases, how will you run your program and everything, you need a terminal also for that. Then the moment you refresh this entire thing is gone again back to you know the first page again you can click on open folder you have to open that folder once again so that's the kind of limitation i would say other than that you simply go to let's see for example any uh, java project that i'm going to install for example let's see um, uh, some basic thing that we can take that okay let's take this one and select this one and then view file any folder that you can open at you can see src pages your java folders are available over here login.java and everything here so that also you can do that any kind of python project also you can uh, import and uh, just check the code and then make some changes and then save it only for that purpose you can do that otherwise uh, you cannot start a server also you need to check the plugins are available or not here let's see the extension uh, for example see yeah extension also here let me just check that let me just install this extension yeah that extension you can install it and you can uninstall it also so that is fine extension all such things you can do that but the terminal is uh, not available here so that's good that yeah you can next uh, import let's import one more project for example, let's see, I'm importing this particular POM framework and uh, click on view files. And here you can see the POM.xml file, go to SRC, test Java. And let's see, are we able to navigate from one page to one file to another file? For example, let's see, I want to go to its login, login to login page. Yes, that I'm able to navigate. This is a nice feature that, okay, you can use it directly in the browser. And for example, let's say I want to go to the element util class here, the element util class is available like that. So this is absolutely working fine. I think that's a decent feature you can, uh, but still you cannot ignore downloading Visual Studio code in your local. You have to download to execute your code. For example, let's say I want to execute these test cases. I cannot execute that because the terminal is also not available. I cannot execute any Python, Java, JavaScript or NPM or PyTest code over here. Okay. So that's a short video about Visual Studio code. Simple execute this VS code.dev and then explore the web browser version of the Visual Studio. Thank you so much. That's all for this particular video.